Hey everyone, Scoop Science here. Today I'm going to be using the leftovers from last night's dinner and drain cleaner to make soap. So let's do it. This here is just water and drain cleaner that I have, I'm still working on dissolving. It's still a bit cloudy at the moment. I'm going to keep mixing until it goes clear. But while well, that's just sitting there, here this is just um, animal fat. Because if you mix animal fat and lye, it makes soap. Um, you see, I didn't really get too much. I think some of that might be animal fat as well, but I'm just going to see if I can strain it out nice and slowly into here. Okay, so here's the leftovers. Gotta say that does not smell very good. This is just from like steak or something. Or pork, can't quite remember. It was actually from about a week ago. <laughs> but there we go, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt this down till it's a liquid again. Then I'm gonna add in some of this. It's getting clearer, that's good. But then yeah, so you melt that down to the liquid, then you add this in, then you keep stirring off the heat, then it should slowly start to thicken again, and then after that, you let it uh, saponify, I believe it's called, which is basically just letting it turn to soap. That should take roughly a day, so I'm going to mix it together here, and then let it saponify overnight and get back to you tomorrow and what well, that's what it's turned into. This isn't really getting any clearer. I reckon it should be good enough now. Because I don't have much fat there. You really only need like a tiny, tiny splash of that. And then you just kind of get mixing. So hopefully this, this should start thickening up quite a bit. Look at it now. I can like actually take out big chunks of it. I assume all the liquid that's left is just the water. Like, so there's too much of it. And I'd like to assume that this stuff is the soap that is saponifying. Although something tells me like it well it's either the soap or it is the fat just kind of solidifying again because it's not hot enough but, I mean there is one way to find out and that is to just let this sit for about 24 hours and then see if it turns into soap so, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna like set this aside, separate it from the liquid, and then see if it turns into soap. Which hopefully it does. So there's my bit of hopefully soap. And it's just sitting in this little lid. So there's my bit of hopefully soap. It's just sitting in this lid. And so I guess I'll see you guys in about 24 hours. Okay, it has been about 27 hours since I had this made. Um, this is just a little bowl full of water. And this here is what I mixed it in. And I scooped a bunch into here. So I've got both, I'm gonna test to see. Basically, 
The way I can test see if it's actually soap is to like add a bit of water and then if it like froths up or lathers just like a bar of soap would so but I mean honestly this doesn't look like soap I have a feeling this is just just a bit of fat let's test you know what it's not the best bar of soap That actually, that actually kind of acted like soap, I reckon. Mostly, mostly fat, yes, I can agree with that, but pretty sure just from that bit there, I don't even need to test that. This bit here, definitely, I reckon was soap. Kind of feels all silky a bit, which is what I'd expect from that. But how, how cool is that? I actually made soap from animal fat and lye, which is pretty cool I think. So with that being done, having made soap successfully, I'm going to call the video finished. So if you did enjoy that video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.